Welcome back to the second hour of the Mountain Morning Show. We're continuing our conversation with Running with Ed this hour as uh, the event is this weekend. So a desperate time to get everything together. If you haven't got your team together, you might be just a little too late for that. But you can certainly still help out by fundraising. We'll talk about that as we continue our conversation with Jen Billow with Running with Ed. She brought a couple of folks with her. Uh, we've got uh, Craig Boynton down there on the end who is here with Triumph. And right next to me, uh, we've got Chris uh, in first show who is here uh, with Ragnar. Welcome back, uh, all of you, to the show as we uh, continue. First of all, I, I have photos. So let's, let's throw those up and take a look at uh, your teams because you guys have certainly had a lot of fun. And this, of course, is the, the Ragnar team, right? That's right, yeah. We, uh, I, no trouble getting teammates for this race. I, yeah, People I bet. Just, they just want to be in it. Yeah, it, it, certainly you guys are used to longer races, so that uh, that should help a little it's bit, nice right? It's nice to basically not have to stay up on that. <laughs> For once. For once, yeah. exactly. And you guys are, you get involved uh, with the handoffs and, and what have you. Yeah, our, we, this is fun. Our, our, our group gets behind it, and we basically treat this event just like one of our 38 across the country. Wow. So they have We're a dedicated staff member, and they focus on it. And, no one, everyone enjoys it because you can see the community and the engagement around it. That's some, that's awesome to hear that you guys care about it that much because, you know, for what started out as a small school event, holy Toledo, Jen, yeah. you've got some good friends. It, we, we do, we're very lucky. Um, Ragnar puts on the exchange at PCMR. Oh, here's, and here's a Triumph team. All right. Yeah. And that's your team, right, Craig? Yes, that's yeah. one of our teams from last year, I believe. Uh, that's terrific. So you've got a, probably a healthy mix of different folks there. Yeah, it was a little colder last year. Hopefully the weather's better. Yeah, I mean, look, they had to grow beards to stay warm. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, and then this is all their teams that ran last year. I, I love everybody's in Triumph gear, except they have, we had, there's the one team that's thing one and thing two. Yes, yeah. Oh, cool. and we enjoyed watching them. Yeah, yeah that, that was actually sure. great because, you know, we put on a big Dr. Seuss event in March. The, yeah. uh, the Ed Foundation and the school district, we do Read Across America. So I've actually used their pictures in other things besides running with that. Oh, very cool. Thank you for that. Very cool. Thank <laughs> them. I had liberty of that. They did. Yes. Yeah. They should, they need to come and read to the kids in March. All right. That'd be great. Well, we have uh, just a minute or two. So, but uh, for someone who just joined us, I'd like for just a quick second uh, for both of you, Chris and Craig, to just tell folks why at this point they should be involved, either from fundraising or uh, you know sponsorship or, or just having you know the, the you know come out and support these teams. Why it's important and why, why you feel it's important. We'll start with you, Craig. Um, well, the money that's that's raised with this is goes right to the schools, correct? Yes. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a great way to be directly involved with what's happening at your kid's school or at the Park City schools. So the the money is is put to good use, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, for us, it's it's a couple of things. The first one being, it, I think Park City's got great schools, and I think, I believe it wouldn't be the same without Park City Education Foundation. So, to Craig's point, money going straight to the schools is a great thing. Second thing is, it's just good for the community, yep. um, and and we're doing something good for our bodies. So you put it all together, and it, it has to be something you should be doing. Well, uh, I'll take the moment, because I know, uh, you know, not always uh, does Jen have the opportunity to to uh, say thank you for the community, but let me say thank you for the community to both of you guys uh, and your work groups and your, your fellow employees for the work that you guys do. Triumph over there, quite, you know, we know you're over there making gearboxes, uh, but, and so sometimes we, you know, we're like, yeah, gearboxes. It's important work that you guys are doing uh, in the Triumph world, and we love that, and we love that you're helping out the community. Uh, Ragnar being a partner all along for running with Ed, it's that's fun. really something and obviously you guys uh, make great friends uh, and, and that's what makes this uh, so, not only so popular, but uh, really uh, so well organized mm -hmm. and that's a huge part of it I'm sure. So Jen, uh, you the last word, talk to folks about a couple of things. There's a grant this year that we want to talk about. Right. So one of the things when Ragnar came on board is they sponsor the Ragnar grant. So the school that has the highest participation of runners, kids, teachers, parents, you can put down which school is your favorite and uh, we tally those up and they get the Ragnar grant, which is an unrestricted grant for 5000 3000 wow. or 2000 dollars. So that's a, that's a big thing. I know the winner. I cannot say it because we announced it on Saturday. Or Chris will announce it Saturday at the race. That's exciting. Um, but that's really exciting. And this is our fifth year of doing that grant now. And then, of course, Triumph again. Um, 
you know, they, what they do is military, so they can't talk about it a lot, but yep. they are one of the biggest employers in Summit County and, and really one of the best in terms of making sure their employees get out there and give back to the community. It's very important, and so I thank you for that. Yeah, thanks for the Spitfire. What a great plane. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific aircraft. All right. Well, uh, we have just a moment left. Uh, I want to thank you all for being here, obviously. Uh, the event is this weekend. Still time to participate in, yes. in the fundraising side of things. That's actually just really, uh, it, at, it's almost its peak at this point. Yes. So we've got to get people to help uh, with that part of it. And then, of course, uh, you know, being there for the exchanges and cheering yes. people on, a huge part of it as well right yes yep so all the schools have exchanges they need volunteers they need help so talk to your school um, donate to a team go to runningwithed.com click on the fundraising tab or come to the finish party starts at one o'clock on this Saturday ten bucks all right I realize we all the only reason we run is to get to that finish line party. that's right so exactly. it's a big party so come sure. show up for that yeah <laughs> well you know uh, being a uh, former president of a community council for Jordan School District uh, or Canyon School District rather uh, I know how hard it is to get those funds for, the, for all the things that uh, we think that our schools are able to provide and they're not. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and we know that. And you know, we're talking computers, we're talking as simple as pencils sometimes. Both ends of the spectrum uh, are left out, if not for the community getting involved. And this is why Running With Ed is here and why uh, there's so much success behind it and why it's so important. So make sure you participate. Again, it's this weekend. Uh, the website for It's runningwithed.com. All right. Thank you so very much for being here, guys. Thanks, Jeff. We've got a lot Thank more coming up on the Mountain Morning Show, including our Open with News. That comes up right after these messages and, of course, a full check of weather right here on Park City Television.